Hi Capricorn. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general. So they may or may not resonate with you. You can always check your other placements if it doesn't quite resonate. What's going on with Capricorn in love? Capricorn in love. What's going on? Oh my gosh. We have deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. We have heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It seems like some of you have someone who is after you. Like obviously someone from the past who wasn't too you know true to you um it seems like they it seems quite narcissistic but it does seem like there's someone after you someone that you need to clear your energy from maybe have a conversation with them i did get the vibe that some of you are in a new relationship or will be but i do feel like a lot of you are in a new relationship where you have someone from the past who is like still on your case or just in your energy you know and I see that you're wanting to some of you are wanting to release that or just needing to release that I need to right away get some info on this situation because it looks quite strange what's going on with Capricorn what's this person's energy towards Capricorn their current person that's the current person's energy towards Capricorn. Someone is... There's someone who's quite focused on... It kind of contradicts. So there's someone focused on working... Um, either working on the relationship or working on their own personal life. We have justice. It could be a Libra, but there's someone working towards um, positive change in some area. So this could be very well the current person, but there seems to be someone from the past who still has it in for you for some reason. What's Capricorn's energy towards the current person? Capricorn's energy towards the current person. I am getting another message of the current person kind of hiding their feelings the current person hiding their feelings you feeling like you want to release this person because they're not showing you how they feel you know you're wanting to move forward and heal from this because you feel like they're never going to show how they feel um i see this person's working towards something something positive but it's either to do with you or it's to do with their own life that's the thing which is it, you know, could be a Sagittarius. We have um, Empress and the Hierophant. I do feel like, yeah, you are really seeking to do what you feel is right for you. You know, so you could be feeling like you want to release this person because he's not, he or she is not showing you um, their true self, their true feelings. They're, they're hiding behind a mask. They're being distant. We've got Justice again do we just have justice we got justice at the bottom again so it could be a libra as i said but i feel like you're trying to do what's right for you what's the energy of this connection energy of this connection two of two of one so we have a long distance situation for some of you and we're also going back to what i said in the beginning where some of you have someone who just has it out for you and then they're just not letting go. Um, they, they're the ones with the devil energy, but you could be dealing with a Capricorn, fellow Capricorn. There will be a message. There's something that someone has to say because we, we do have heart to heart conversations. We have the page of cups. I do see a message coming in, a conversation happening, but we have this toxic energy going on in this relationship. For some of you, you feel like you want to get away from that energy 
where it's one of those things where the person just isn't opening up. They're just dragging you along, hiding how they feel, and you've just had enough. You know? I'm seeing all those scenarios, but mainly the fact that you want to free yourself because this is your energy towards them. You know, you're kind of, these are two cards that are about wisdom, temperance. We got divine timing, healing, spirituality, wisdom, you know? So I see that you're really trying to make the right decision. You're trying to disconnect. You're trying to just, it's like you're saying if this person doesn't show how they feel anymore, sorry, if they don't show how they feel eventually, I need to do the right thing because time's going and, you know, time's being wasted. Some of you, as I said, might be long distance, but I see you really trying to make a decision because it feels... It feels like time wasting for some of you for some of you it feels toxic and then I do see that weird ex who has it out for you for some reason but let me see let me get into your main spread okay. All right, Capricorn what do we have for Capricorn we have the Capricorn, there's Temperance again. I feel like you're just waiting. You're waiting for the best thing to happen to you. That's what I'm hearing. Like whatever it is, whoever it is with, you just want the best outcome. Okay. So, yeah, the past. Six of, six of Cups. The past is coming in, but I feel like you're not entertaining it. See, King of, King of Swords. What can Capricorn expect in love in the coming days and weeks? Let's find out the Capricorn. person is emotionally distant some of you are dealing with an Aquarius I'm getting an Aquarius vibe even though I'm not seeing an Aquarius card but I'm getting a, a, a vibe of Aquarius for some of you but this person they have the eight of cups when it comes to their feelings towards you they are emotionally distant they are distancing themselves emotionally so I get the vibe that they're also lying to themselves about how they feel. They're seeing you as the six of wands. So it's like, are they, it's like some of you may have a lot of accomplishments. They may be looking at you as someone who's being really celebrated right now. Um, you know, maybe they feel like they're not good enough for someone who is like achieving a lot of things or going somewhere in life for some of you because we have the hangs on here and it does tell me that they are having like a shift in how they see things a change in perspective um if this is the ex who is just not good who you don't want in your energy anymore then this is great news because it seems like they've they're about to exit the picture if there's someone if this is an ex who's been like stalking you or whatever like a narcissist it seems like they're about to exit the picture because they just feel like whatever they're trying to do to you is just not working so that's good news if it's someone you don't want if this is speaking of your current person i do see the emotional distance and the fact that they're not really showing how they feel um but again it could be that they're having some or feeling some insecurities about what's going on with you especially if you've you've had a lot of good things happen to you in the recent past a lot of you we got the ten of cups here so a lot of you are kind of wanting this you know this emotional fulfillment this completion wanting to just be your love life to just be completely fine but we got the Queen of Swords here, so you're having to guard your heart and you're having to protect, I don't know, the things, I don't feel like it's just your heart that you're protecting, I feel like you're protecting your whole self, like areas of your life as well from people. 
but you seem to have your sword up towards this person as i said earlier i feel like you're trying to do the right thing when it comes to love you're trying to just make the right decision we have the world here as how you're seeing them so some of you may feel like some of you as i said you may feel like they're not they're not showing how they feel they're never going to show how they feel so what's the point so we got this four of swords here telling me that you guys are taking a break there is definitely emotional distance going on i feel like because you feel they are emotionally distant you're distancing yourself and so the chance of a new beginning is like at a standstill because of that the lack of this heart-to-heart -heart conversation it's like this heart-to-heart -heart conversation could be what potentially what potentially fixes this situation but if it doesn't happen it's at a standstill you know let me see you <clears throat> This Queen of Swords. What's going on with this Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords. Yeah, some of you are protecting everything that you have worked for. Maybe there's someone coming towards you who's threatening everything you've worked for or, you know, something that you have. Maybe someone, maybe it's their ex coming to try and, you know, get back with them and they're kind of, that kind of, you know, gets in the way of the relationship that you have going on. But for some reason you're protecting everything you have, you know. The Ten of Cups. Why the Ten of Cups? Yeah, so you're tired of being dissatisfied. Tired of being dissatisfied um, with what with the things that are going on. Some of you may have been living the single life and are kind of tired of that as well. Tired of having bad options come towards you and stuff like that. That's what I'm seeing with that for some reason. It kind of doesn't connect to the story, but why the world? Why the world? The moon in reverse, yeah, because some of you feel like you don't know what's going on with this person and whoever it is, you know, they could be a Pisces for some of you or have Pisces in their chart somewhere, but you kind of don't know what's going on with them. You don't know if it's a third party or if they are involved in other people. It seems that there's someone speaking about you or you're aware of them, of someone speaking about you, but you don't know what they're saying or what's really going on behind your back. But aside from that, I do see you just kind of being in the dark about where this person is, where they stand emotionally when it comes to you. But let me see what's going on with their emotions. Why the, why the Eight of Cups with this person? Why are they feeling the Eight of Cups? Oh, this person's aiming to be single. They're aiming for either to be single or just some time to themselves. We got the hangman again. It could be that they they go on to be single and get a change in perspective because we do have the hangman upright here. <clears throat> so it's like they may kind of realize that they don't want to be single after trying it out. It does look that way. But it looks like for some reason they walked away to be alone or to focus on themselves. They may have said that to some of you, that they just want to focus on themselves. Um, but they may get a change in perspective during that time. They may find that they don't want to be single. Why the Six of Wands? Why the Six of Wands? The Devil again. But it's in reverse. Yep, you see? This person... If you were dealing with a narcissistic type, controlling type, they feel like they've lost control of you. So there is, if it's a narcissist, it's good news because they, they feel they've lost the battle. They've lost the war of stalking you and harassing you. They see that you have broken free from their control. So that's, oops, I keep, I keep kicking the light. <laughs> that's if they are a narcissist. Um... 
but I know not all of you are dealing with that, but I definitely see that coming through. I don't want to make this whole thing a narcissist reading because I hate narcissist readings, but I do see that coming through for some of you, that there may be someone on your case or was, and they are giving up on trying to destroy your life. They've, they've given up. They see that, they see in that, um, it's, it's too much work <laughs> for them. So that's good news. But if this is someone you are with, I do see them seeing you as kind of, it's almost like they're distancing themselves because they see you um, working and accomplishing things and that you don't need them. They may feel like you're not attached anymore to them. So they kind of, oh, it's almost like they're, they're doing it to protect themselves, but then they realize they actually do want to be in this relationship once they get a taste of the single life why this two of pentacles hold on wait let me clarify the hanged man first why is the hanged man here why is the oh my gosh <laughs> okay too many cards here but we got the ace of wands in reverse yeah they may start to feel they may start to feel like they're not included when they go off to be single, especially if they've already gone off to be single. They may feel like they're no longer included in your life. This may kind of shift their perspective and make them want to come back. Or they may have left because they felt like they weren't included in this um oops, excitement that's going on in your life. Just drop the two of pentacles almost. They may feel like they're not included. They may be taking your Queen of Swords um, energy. If you have been kind of guarding your heart, they may take that as like you pushing them away. Why the Two of Pentacles? Two of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Leo. And again, we got the Emperor in reverse. Um, could be a Aries with the Emperor, could be a Leo. But I'm seeing again with the narcissistic thing where if you're dealing with someone who is on your back, someone from the past who won't leave you alone, they're giving up. It's, it's as you see with the Ten of Wands, it's too much work for them to try and destroy your life. Now they're, they've given up, you won, okay? You won. They've given up, but again, when it comes to someone you actually care about, they seem to be feeling like they're left out. I don't know why. Maybe you haven't been expressing how you feel or you've been working a lot. You are an earth sign, so work is important. Maybe you've been working a lot and haven't even really noticed that you haven't been paying attention or expressing love the way they would want or I don't know it's something like that for someone here but for some reason this person feels like they had to or they just wanted to see if they'll feel better being single if they could maybe accomplish what you've accomplished okay let me see what I have here for Capricorn oh yeah with the Emperor sorry I was you need to speak about that. The emperor is in reverse. So again, with that controlling person, I that is split into two, this reading. But the emperor in reverse is a very controlling person. So I know that there is someone watching who is dealing with that situation. And it's probably amazing news for you to hear that they've given up on trying to ruin your life. So you've protected yourself very well. Um... But we have in the near future, we have reconsider. So this is, I feel like reconsider has to do with the person who felt left out. Like um, reconsider, um, why is there a fly in here? Oh my gosh, ew. Ugh. Never leave my door open. Never again. We have forgiveness. Sorry, I had to pause for a sec. But we have reconsider and forgiveness. I feel like 
The, re the reconsider card, I was going to say reconciliation, the reconsider card connects with the heart to heart conversations because that's how, that's the only way I feel that you guys would want to reconcile with this person if there is a talk and understanding where they actually show how they feel instead of running away, you know, to see what happens. But we have forgiveness, so there is a chance that you may have this conversation with them and there may be some forgiveness you know, but I feel like you're not doing it unless you get what you want and what you need, which is, you know, something real and someone who says how they feel. We have trust. Okay, so maybe the trust needs to be rebuilt for some of you. I get the feeling some of you don't trust that this person will stay if you guys even reconcile. But that will be something that has to be built, you know, and talked about with the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So you could be dealing with Pisces, uh, Aries, Leo. You've got Taurus energy and Capricorn, fellow Capricorn. But we have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So those are the main signs coming through. And this is what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn. Check your other, oh my goodness. Check your other placements if this didn't quite resonate. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.